Understandably, everyone has questions as they try to navigate this new world, and he's been answering them since the very beginning of the pandemic. And we're talking about our Dr. Frank McGeorge. He's here to help sort all of this out for us. He has a fresh batch of questions submitted through clickondetroit.com. Hi, Doc. Hey, Kim. Yeah, so Dawn writes, I know this question won't be answered, but why are cancer-causing carcinogens used in the vaccine? I feel the public has the right to know. Okay, Dawn, I will actually answer this question because people should know that the vaccines do not contain any carcinogens. You can just add that to the list of social media-fueled myths. Now, here are some more of your questions. Tammy asks, if you didn't get your vaccine at a doctor's office, do I need to register with the CDC to be counted? No. If you are a Michigan resident, your information should be entered by the group that administered your shot into MICR, the Michigan Care Improvement Registry. That's the state's database where all vaccination records are maintained. If you had your shot out of state, you can talk to your doctor or your local health department about having your vaccine record updated. Now, another viewer is wondering, if I got vaccinated in December, should I get it again? I heard about a study that showed Pfizer was effective for only six months. The quick answer is no. Studies are being done, but it's not clear yet when or if a booster would be needed. Mary asks, since we need to have both shots to be fully vaccinated, why is the governor's reopening plan based on the first shot plus two weeks? It seems as though we are not fully protected to risk going back to work, and it also sends a message that the second vaccine is optional. A study published in the MMWR found that a single dose of either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine was 82% effective against symptomatic COVID-19. While that's not as good as the 94% from both doses, it's certainly a strong start. Now, I do agree that planning the phases of reopening around the percentage of first shots might give the impression that a second isn't necessary, so here's my effort to clear that up. The second Pfizer or Moderna shot is very important to get because it boosts and likely extends your protection. Now, finally, Ruth asks, should I still be cautious and wear a mask and social distance if I have an autoimmune disease and I'm taking medication for my chronic condition? Well, Ruth, there is concern that some people with autoimmune diseases may not respond as strongly to the vaccine, and you could be at higher risk even if you're fully vaccinated. I would recommend that you discuss that exact situation with your doctor, but I would certainly think it would be reasonable to be more cautious and keep up those extra layers of protection, especially when you might be around people who are not vaccinated. Back to you. Hey, we appreciate you answering those questions, Doc. Thank you.